Hey, Mr. Myers is here. And in this video, I'd like to go over Riemann sums and find the area under a curve. So I'm going to use three methods, the left endpoint, the right endpoint, and the midpoint. And um, just talking real quick about a Riemann sum. Now, a Riemann sum really is a fancy way in calculus of just adding rectangles, adding the areas of rectangles in a, uh, in a picture underneath the curve. So, you know, there's a, a, a formula, looks like this, um, the sum i equals 0 to n of f of x sub i times delta x. And I'll show you what all this means. But basically, it means that you're going to take your width, you're going to multiply it by the height, which is how we find the area of a rectangle, right? The area of a rectangle is length times width, so or base times height, one of those two. Um, so you're just taking length times width of each rectangle for i sub intervals for for n sub intervals um, you know this is basically the number of rectangles you have so if I have four rectangles and I'm gonna go to four so I'm gonna show you what this looks like in kind of a simplistic way here so what we want to do is we want to find the area under the curve I've got my curve here y equals x squared plus 2 in the interval from 0 to 2 from so from 0 to 2 if you can't read that that's 0 to 2 here and um, we're going to use four sub intervals meaning we're going to have four four rectangles it's the number of rectangles we're going to have and i'm going to use the left endpoint which means if i have this curve i'm going to start right here on my left point that touches the curve and then i'm going to make a right triangle so i'm going to go i'm sorry i'm going to make a rectangle it's going to go straight across and then straight down all right, so there's my first rectangle, and the reason I know I'm going to go half, the reason I know I'm going to go to 0 0.5 is because I want four of these. So I've got to go one, and they're going to be in equal lengths. There's two, there's three, and see how I have four rectangles? I'm going to make one, two, three, four rectangles. Okay, so I'm going to start at my left endpoint, right? This is the left side, so I'm going to start at my left endpoint, then go straight across to my next stoppage point. Then I'm going to go to my next left end point so straight up and then go right across straight down from there I'm gonna go straight up till I touch the function straight across down straight up till I touch the function and straight across and then down so I'm estimating the area using these area of these rectangles so I'm really I'm looking for the area of this guy of each one so how long how much is each of these lengths? Well, each of these lengths here are we would call delta x, which we know in this case is 0.5, right? They're equal, 0.5. How far is it? How tall is this rectangle? Well, this rectangle goes up to here. This one goes this far. This one goes this far. Well, what is that y value? That y value, in this case, this y value here is on the function f of 1.5 right because this is my x value my y value is going to be whatever I get when I plug in my 1.5 into my function this is f of 1 right this is 1 and this is f of 0.5 and this is f of 0 so all I'm going to take I'm going to do is to find this area I'm going to take so the area of the first one the area of the first one is 0.5 times f of 0 then I'm going to add that to the area of the second one, which is 0.5 times f of 0.5 plus 0.5 times f of 1 plus 0.5 times f of 1.5. So all we're doing here is finding the area of rectangles. That's what a Riemann sum is. All right, so this is my area with the left hand left end point. Now I can rewrite this. Notice every one of these has a 0.5, so I can just factor that out. 0 0.5 times f of 0 plus f of 0 0.5 plus f of 1 plus f of 1.5. So sometimes you'll see it written like this in your textbook. So we're just going to calculate this out. We're going to plug in 0 into our function, and we're going to find out what that is. That turns out to be 2. We're going to plug in 0.5 into our function, figure that out. That's going to be 2.25 plus 0.5 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 plus 0.5
plug in 1, we're going to get 3. Plug in 1.5, and we're going to get 4.25. All right, don't want to forget our 0.5 here. Then we're going to add this up and multiply together, and we're going to get 5.75 units squared. Square units. Okay, so that's that's a Riemann sum, guys. That's all we're doing. All we're doing is adding rectangles. The, the point here, though, is you're really going to have to find out which point we're going to start from the left, the right, or the midpoint. So now I'll show you the right end point. Um, but it's the same idea. We're just drawing rectangles, finding the area of the rectangles. Just make sure that when you cut up your subintervals, you're cutting it into the number of rectangles that you want. So really, you're just going to you're going to take two, zero, and divide by two, or sorry, divide by four, and that's going to tell you where your spaces are. All right. So let's take a look, look at the next one. Right endpoint. So the right endpoint, we're going to go to our first. So we're going to go to zero to two. Same thing, right? We're cutting up up into four. So just like this. Except this time, instead of starting right here, I'm going to start on the right side. So I'm actually going to go up here and then go this way. Now you'll notice that for this function, the right, you know, if I can draw my rectangles here, okay, the right endpoint is going to end up being an overestimate right because now we have this whole area here and notice we kind of went over this is going to be an overestimate where the other left hand endpoint was an underestimate because I'm missing pieces there right so uh, I'm gonna go and do this again remember our del our, so we're gonna go ahead and use that function this is the right endpoint though okay we know that each one is 0.5 so now which functions are we using that we're gonna add together well, we didn't start here at zero anymore. This time we started at 0.5. This was my first point. Okay, so now I'm going to go f of 0 0.5. My right end point, my next right end point is right here, which is at f of 1. Then we go to our next one, which was f of 1.5. And then again at f of 2. Easy peasy. You finish that off I'm in squeezy so um, we get f of 0.5 we got that was 2.25 when we plugged in remember we're taking this number here we're plugging in here for X to find what our Y value is okay and this one we're gonna get 3 and then 4.25 and then 6 we're gonna add all that up together and multiply and we're gonna get an area of 7.75 square units Okay, so that's the right endpoint. This time we're starting at the right. Okay, to the right, to the right, to the right. Not like Beyonce's to the left, to the left. All right, bad joke. But anyway, here's the left endpoint. Okay, this one we did the right, oops, the right endpoint. Okay, let's look at my last example, which is the midpoint. So again, we are drawing four equal sub intervals we're gonna have four rectangles but this time we're not gonna do the right endpoint or the left endpoint we're gonna go right in the middle of this to what's the value right there that's 0 0.25 and we're gonna go all the way up till we get to our function and then we're gonna go over and that is where we are going to make our box, our rectangle. All right, so we're going to go in the middle of each one, all the way up, across. In the middle, that would be the midpoint, across, across, all the way up, across, across. Now notice here we've got a little bit of overlap, a little bit of underlap, a little bit of over, a little bit of under. So midpoint is actually going to give us a better estimate than the right or the left. And we're looking for the area of these rectangles, right? So um, what is the, the height here or the, you know, this measure, the width? It's going to be the same as last time, right? Even though we took the midpoint, 
the width of each one, the subintervals are equal lengths, this width is still going to be 0.5. So our area for our midpoint is going to be 0 0.5 times, right, because we're going to have it each time. Okay, well now we got to figure out what function, what y value are we doing here now. So now we took the midpoint and we went up, that's our y value right here at f of 0.25, right? So we're going to go f of 0.25 plus what's our next one? Well, our next one was right here at 0.75. What was our next one? Our next one is f of 1.25. And our last one was f of 1.75, right? So now we're using the midpoint. We're going to do this the math the same way we did last time. Plug in this value into your x, find your y value. So we're going to get uh, 2.0625 plus 2.5625 plus 3.5625. Ah, come on. Plus, well, there's a lot of fives in this one. 5.0625. We multiply it, add them all together, multiply it together, I get 6.625 units squared, which seems right. That's in the middle, right, between my right endpoint and my left endpoint, which is a better approximation because I get overlap and underlap, okay? So, folks, that's Riemann sums. Really, Riemann sums is just finding the area under the curve using rectangles. I've shown you right endpoint, left endpoint, and midpoint. Get the point? Good. Talk to you guys later. Or maybe not, but you'll hear from me. Bye-bye.